Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Mini Cooper and we're gonna do the chrome delete that wraps around the whole vehicle on the top layer of the body of the vehicle. So this is how it looks before doing the installation on the chrome panels. It's just a regular chrome design panel. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way it matches the color of the black accent that the vehicle comes with. If you like the product, the link for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before we start with the installation, we need to prep the panel. So to prep the panel, all you need is water and baby shampoo mixed together inside a spray bottle. Once you have your bottle ready, spray the solution onto a clean microfiber towel and just go all around the vehicle and clean all the contaminants that it may have. And then also once you're done cleaning it, make sure that the panel is completely dry as well. That way the film is able to stick to the panel and it doesn't lift because the water may damage the adhesive if you still have water residue. So make sure everything is clean. So we're going to start by installing the film that goes on the front section of the vehicle. So with this one, when you have your film, give yourself enough material to cover the edge here and just tack it down a little bit. That way the film doesn't lift as we go across and install the rest of the film to the other end. So with this one, place the film like this and we're going to work section by section that way we're able to align it. So with this one, lift it again, apply the film and just go slowly. So once you tag it down, slowly go section by section, lifting the film and just helping it tack down to the curve. And if you need to lift it to readjust it, you can. Just take your time. So for example, here we have this big finger. Just come back to this section, lift the film and place it back down. So it's just more of aligning the film to making sure we avoid creasing it and just also making sure we cover everything. So just do everything, take your time, align it, lift if you need to readjust and just go across until you reach to that end. So once you finish placing the film, you would then grab your squeegee and start tacking down the entire panel. So just make sure you remove any air bubbles that are trapped behind the film. Take your time in securing the film and make sure you have coverage underneath and on top as well. So with this one, when you trim, there is a small gap in between the actual grill and the rubber gasket that holds it. So that's where you would insert the blade, trim off the excess material. But you just have to be very careful when you're doing that part. That way you don't scratch the paint on the vehicle. So one thing I recommend doing before we trim off all this excess material is to apply heat all around the panel. That way the film starts to mold to the curved design and wraps around the panel. And then once the film has wrapped around the panel, then we can know what's the excess material and then we can just trim it off afterwards. So now grab your heat gun and go section by section. And then once you're done, trim off. And now, Tramax's material. So for the remaining three pieces that are on the side section here, so this one, the front door, and the rear piece on the rear where the cord window is located, the same steps are done for each section. Just align it on the edge. Once you align it, just follow the design of each panel until you reach it to the end. Once you tack down and remove all the air bubbles that are trapped behind the film, then you can start applying heat. That way the film curves down to the panel. And then once you're done applying heat, 
then you would trim off the extra material. The same steps that were done for this piece, you would just do the same steps for the remaining three. And then we'll get back for the rear because it has a curve here on the rear section. So I'll show you guys how to do that one. But same steps for the three pieces on the side. So for the last piece, for the rear section, it's going to be by starting off the alignment on this edge. So you can place the film down, that way we can work on this section of the panel. So all you need to do is just make sure that you cover everything here. And once you have coverage here, move on section by section until you reach to the other end. So grab the film, lift it carefully, and just with your hand, guide it as you're tagging it down. So just like this. And it should reach up to here. You will have extra material. That extra material is just given to you just in case you need to move it back or to the side just so you have more coverage. But just make sure you're covering all of the chrome. And now grab your squeegee, remove all the air bubbles that may be behind the film. And then once you're done, apply heat to help the film tack down to the curve. And then we'll trim off the extra material afterwards. So grab your heat gun, start section by section and just help the film tack down to the panel. Once you finish applying heat all over the panel, we would come and trim off all the extra material. And then once you're done trimming off the extra material, the last thing would be post heat the entire panel. And they were done. And now we move on to the last thing, which is pulse heating the entire panel that we just worked on. And then we're done. Thank you for choosing Forward Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the Chrome Delete installation for the 2022 Mini Cooper. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell that way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.